Okay, we're back with the selecting appropriate moves based on how we think a computer kind of things. I'm talking a basic computer here, you know, them little handheld things that you could get many years ago, you probably can still get now. And so we're going to push the pawn here because obviously it's supporting this pawn. So then we're looking at that pawn, that pawn, that pawn. Do the pawns first, this pawn, this pawn can move, then the bishop can move, the bishop can move, the knight can move. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, can't be wrong, so smaller piece we're going to attack with the pawn and we're just going to grab. So that makes sense and this looks pretty straightforward again because we take, the knight takes and then the bishop comes here to defend the pawn. We don't have to do that though, is there a better move? This pawn can come up to defend, but it opens up the king. This pawn can push up, but it's not doing much really because this pawn is going to take and it's got two on there. Knight can jump, attacking this pawn. If he takes, we take, but it doesn't go our king a good position. And bishop could come here, but again, doesn't really work. So what we know is capturing is appropriate and we bring the bishop through to defend the pawn. So that helps slow things down. Have to be de um, have to be a bit careful though because some players don't they want you to move real quick. So now we've got this here. We can bring the bishop through. We want to actually develop the knight. So the knight is the key one that we want to bring out there. There's no real point bringing this. We could do that just to stop the bishop coming through, but it slows down the development of the knight. Again, that can be pushed, but it's not very good because the queen can come through and attack. Could hit the knight, and the knight has to go where, wherever it goes, but we're losing development of our pieces, so I'm not going to select that. And obviously this pawn can push up here. So I'm actually going for developing the knight. This pawn is here stopping this knight. Well, it's not stopping it, but at least we can take. Oh my gosh, he's gone for it. We can take. And we can bring the bishop here, just defending that area. Rook in the center of the board. Can we make them pay the price for that? Shouldn't really be there. Is it to their benefit? It got a momentary check, but it's got no, no other pieces behind it. So in our law, really, it shouldn't be there. We can get castle fairly easily, unless there's some tactical thing that I'm going to miss. So we'll sit and wait, there's no rush. We're not looking at being time bound here. If the time goes down and we're in desperate straits, then I'll let you know. So he's putting a two on one onto the bishop, which is a nice touch, but we do have the knight being able to attack the rook, but the rook can take and the queen can take, and then our king can take. So it's not too big a worry. So we're gonna go with the knight, like I said, I don't think there's any point pushing here because he does have a two on one. So we need to have something that supports this bishop or blocks. But there's no point in the bishop blocking because the knight takes, pawn takes, rook takes. So we may as well go with the knight. The bishop is protecting the knight if the queen forgets itself. So we do think he'll still go with taking, then takes, queen takes, and then our king doesn't castle, but we can castle by hand and they may do none of what we've just said so that's when again we want to look at what can be done instantly your eyes are drawn to a certain move so he's gone back all right, so yeah, like I said, instantly your, your eyes are drawn to a certain move. And this is basically saying, well, he's putting a two on one now with his queen and his rook on there. So we have to move it because at the end of the day, his rook really is not going to take because he's going to lose the rook. So maybe we don't need to worry too much about that. And we continue to actually go and castle. If we go and castle, we've taken away one of the protectors of the bishop. So the rook will be able to take the bishop for free. 
So we need to recalculate this situation. I think probably hitting the night, but I think we might be sending the night to a good place. No, maybe not. Let's hit the night, smaller piece attacking. That looks the most prominent one. And don't forget the bishop can take the rook if the rook is deciding to take the knight. So how do we get out of this pin situation? Pawn's looking to maybe hit the rook here once the knight moves out of the way. But he's getting, our, he's getting the bishop away from this angle. So the rook is going to be taking the pawn, but I suppose in a way that gets us out of the pin. So I'm going to take, oh, we're on the rook. Okay, right. So that's worked out not too bad. I'm kind of liking this. So if we're going castle, his rook is in the center of the board. That we've got to make them pay the price for this. It's not really got any support at the minute, but this bishop is probably looking to come here. So once we castle and the bishop comes there, then we'd have to push the pawn up and then he'd get our rook with the bishop. So that's not something we really want to be entertaining. So I don't think we're castling. Castle. Bishop attacks. If we don't do anything and we just bring our bishop here, then we're defending the area. Which should be okay. Let's go for that. Castle. Bring the bishop here. Protecting the pawn for a brief moment. Yep. Protecting the pawn for a brief moment. Rook is still in the center of the board. Maybe a little touch here, but we're not going to rush that. Right, so he's opening up his rook. His rook is going to be attacking our queen. So if we did bring the bishop here, I can probably envisage that the rook is going to come here. Because this looks like a he's like a pinning master. So I'm going to hit the queen first to give them something to think about. If they forget themselves and go here, don't forget we've got the ninja bishop. So this is really quite interesting utilizing this. We've not had to use the computer thinking type methodology because things have jumped at us straight away and we've had to deal with these threats immediately. This person is like some sort of expert at pinning and stuff so I'm not laying out much hope I'm laying out hope that we can maybe try and block off a few of the attacks but it looks like they're really kind of coming in for a swarm so we're hitting the Queen where does the Queen go if it goes back here then that's a big issue for them isn't it can't go here it's not gonna go well it could go there for an exchange of the Queen and owning the file Maybe there's something else. Maybe he's bringing his knight here. He's brought the bishop back, blocking. Whoa. What's this rook got now then? So if we hit the rook, like I said, he has no place in the center of the board. He might come for a trade, might he? With the knight. Yeah. It's pesky knight. So if we take this knight off the board, he opens up, then we attack the queen. Or if we attack the rook, I think we attack the rook, but he's attacking this pawn with his bishop. So if we hit the bishop, this rook is there. If the bishop takes, it's not going to do that. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to hit the bishop. Because we still have the x-ray through. He might do something funky, you know, but let's see. It's on our queen, x-ray through. Mm. Tuck the rook. X ray through, so we can take. No, we can't. No, 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 no. 
hit the queen, but the pawn takes. Yeah, it's that nice. We might be too late to the party now, dude. Bring the queen here. Still protecting the bishop a little bit, but then his rook attacks us. Ooh. Yeah, okay, so we come here, rook attacks us. We come here. Still defending the bishop. Okay, let's give that a try. I think it's it's got too many pieces on there actually. Yeah. That's a shame. We still have the x-ray through to the queen. So if it does kick off, I'm hoping that we get the queen. But this player is a little bit masterful, aren't they? So I think if we can beat this player, I think we're we're doing really good in our own personal development because they're playing a little bit a little bit strong. Be nice to get that and bang, but we're not going to get that against a player like this. So they will be taking, but I think the rook's going to sacrifice itself. Then we take. Then he takes. Oh, in fact, no. What about this knight? Knight attacking the queen. Bishop takes. Nope. What is he hitting? Right, I'm stopping calculation now because I'm doing too much. And as we know, they never do what I'm saying, so... I might as well just hang fire. We did say that, didn't we? Let's bring the queen here. At least we've got the super pinning experts thinking for a bit. They've actually gone under our time now. They're still here. Yeah, it's gone for that position we said. Let's just move the queen. We don't need to overthink it. Massive Tate Fest now. Now that he knows the queen is going to be saved. It's just that the knight will get taken as well. I have pictures of this. Oh, I did say take fest. It's just that the knight gets taken as well. But is that a better position for them than for us? Yeah, he gets the pawn. But we get a pawn. We get this pawn. And we're on the bishop. So it gives them something to think about. Back 
crack or anything no nope. just bring this rook here no let's just continue I do not like this player at all, super pinning expert. It's doubling up, it's coming for a back ranker. Yeah, so we get the bishop, comes and gets the back ranker ish. I don't know, you know. If we take the bishop, he comes down for the back rank thing, he thinks. Oh, yeah, he does. He does. I was thinking of bringing the bishop here and blocking, but he just takes the rook off the board. Nothing doing. Alright, don't lose any sleep over it. I can just simply move my king. It's got a dark square bishop. Let's move the king. And um, pawn, sorry, in front of the king. Now he has to think about moving the bishop now because he's not going to just come down, get that taken for free. Well, not for free, but it's not going to have a back ranker. So he's moved the bishop. What do we have? We must have some things. Come back, defended the pawn. Yeah, this guy's a little bit too good, good for me. It's coming down for the pawn. Let's bring this here. See if we can get this and maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, seeing as the bishop's babysitting this pawn. Or he may just decide, well, let's just get rid of your rook, come round the back and get this pawn here. Yeah, I think that's what they'll do. Just attacking the rook. Only cons Well, the thing is, if they do do that, we get a back ranker. Yeah, we take and his rook comes down and takes, this just goes here. Then he has to come back and we take. So he can't do that. He may decide to move the bishop again. Maybe to here, blocking off anything. But we're looking to go here. So he may go for a trade. But if he goes for the trade and we take and he goes there, we get the back ranker again. There's a lot of back rank threat positions that we potentially could have. Oh, and he's giving his self space. Let's just go here. Fed up of this player now. Absolutely fed up of. Alright, so. We could hit the rook. But then he comes and attacks the bishop and the pawn that's behind. Could hit this pawn, but his rook comes down. Could hit the rook with the pawn. He just comes down and he stays there. Come on, time is running out. We're still ahead though, which is okay. Mm, if we attack here, then at least he's not coming here. So attack the rook. He might not be interested. So we're doing a bit of a dance. Oh, it's taken. Let's grab. Let's come for the bishop and the pawn. And we can't really come down to protect because the bishop's guard in there. He did move there very quick. So if we hit, he's on a dark square and we've got a white square bishop. Mm -hmm. So we could bring the bishop here in the rook, takes the pawn, bishop's fairly comfortable there, okay we're going to be a pawn down against the pinning expert, or are we, we are, I think we are, definitely, could go this way and hit the rook and then we we'll get this pawn, I'm going to hit the rook this way and get this pawn, so a pawn for a pawn, So we're slightly ahead on time. I know you can't see the time, but we're trying to practice the quality of the game. And I did say if we 
getting some sort of advantage against this pinning expert type thing I will be very chuffed this is um, to me this is high level play I think he's got this pawn though because I can't defend this I thought he would have come behind here attack his bishop. His bishop does a fancy dance though, doesn't it? How do we protect this ball? His rook's defending here. If we attack, he gets away. He escapes. If he went there, because then we'd be able to come there with a check, but mind you, his rook is defending. Yeah, he's got everything covered, hasn't he? Damn, not going to be able to save my pawn. Got a white square bishop as well, and it can't get in. Could bring it down now, because it's blocked by the bishop, just to protect it, and then he pushes down and he's on the my rook. Then I suppose I can squeeze it across here, but then his bishop can come and attack. But I suppose we can take the pawn. That might be a bit convoluted, but um, I'm going to go for that rather than trying to get the bishop out protecting the pawn. So then he pushes, bring it across. Does he take? Probably not. We'll see. Maybe the rook comes here first. But if he does that, that gives time for the bishop to come here. Still ahead time-wise. One twenty-nine. we're on one oh. They're in 59 seconds now at the minute. I've forgotten if it's an increment or not. can't see on the table. I think it's an increment, maybe five seconds or something. Okay, so if we went and attacked, his bishop just comes to defend. Let's go and attack anyway. Or does it attack? But it's not going to do that. It's going to be losing the pawn. Oh no, trapped. I'm trapped. Very clever. Very clever. Oh man. Boom. Check. Oh, this is going to hurt. It's just going to hit me like this. Oh, it's going to get a draw, whichever way. If I move the bishop here, then he can't put any more checks on me. Or can he? No, the bishop can't be checkmate. What are you doing? Let's push the pawn. Oh, I've given the pawn up. I'm trying to get the bishop <laughs> with the rook. I've just given the pawn away. So if he takes, we can take, but then he takes the pawn, so I think we're going to bring the bishop here. They're on 19 seconds, we're on 1 minute and 4, so I think it is a 5 minute increment, 5 second increment. This time keeps jumping up. Five, four, three, two. Oh, it is five seconds. What do we got? Uh, has he got checks, checks? Do I have a bit of an escape? It's attacking the rook. Do we take the pawn? Don't get trapped into anything fast. Let's go here. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, and they've resigned. 
I think in this game, what I'm going to do for myself is when you do your evaluate, when I do the evaluation of the games, you can sense that the computer's going, okay, so it's our go. It goes pawn push there. Can this pawn be pushed? No. Can this pawn be pushed? Yes. Can that pawn be pushed? Can that be pawn be pushed? Then it looks at, okay, can, where can this bishop go? This bishop can go here. This can go here. Can go here. Yep. And then etc. etc. So it's just choosing all of the move, all of the pieces, and then it makes its decision. So a smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong in our eyes. So we'll go with the pawn. So we'll attempt to do that within this game. We're going to capture with the pawn. So that's pretty straightforward. To help us maybe select maybe an, a more appropriate move. And it also kind of slows down your movement of your calculation as well, especially for me. So start from the left. Start from the left pawn. Yes, we know that this pawn can take this one quite easily. But let's have a look. Is this one any good? Is that one any good? Is this bishop any good? Is that bishop any good? Is it here? Can this bishop come out? Can this knight come out? But at this moment in time, this one's a winner. So we'll just, well, a winner as in capturing the pawn. It's hitting a higher piece as well. So it's quite good to see, but it's not good when it's happening to you. There's an obvious move on the board, but the opponent takes ages over the move. And that's not to say they're using computers. You know, if you're doing it over the board and stuff like that, um, you can sit there and go, man, it's such a straightforward move. Why don't they just make that simple move? But I think it's a good way of actually training yourself. So moving from left to right, pawn, pawn, pawn can't move this pawn can move this can attack a higher piece smaller piece attacking a higher piece works for us so let's go here looking behind the pawn it's got protection it, this is not going to squeeze in here at this moment because of this pawn so it looks like it's working for us at the minute we do have elevated pawns which maybe they might get taken off the board this pawn is protected by the queen, so this is why we could make that, that move. So it's not just throwing the moves out just to say, oh, well, it's a pawn. But let's have a look at the strength. Instantly, my brain went straight to here. Bishop coming, attacking the queen. It's a smaller piece, attacking a higher piece. That's the move I'm going to make. There's no point in doing these, I don't think, obviously. They are moves. Bishop's got this, bishop's got that, bishop's got that. Knight's got this. Yeah, it's even got that, but that's not a good one. Rook's got this across here. Got the pawn pushing, but this one looks more dynamic. So we'll go with the bishop attacking the higher piece. So the queen is getting a lot of hits put on it at the minute. So I can feel it running to the other side of the board or to here. I don't think it's going to go that far. I think it'll go to here to try and feel safe. So I need something to slow my brain down. I see things instantly and then the calculation, sometimes I don't follow it all the way through and there's an obvious move right in front of my face because then I tunnel vision on other areas. So if the... Oh, they've left the game. They didn't really need to leave the game. They've got a safe spot here. Obviously, we would be hounding the queen because the queen bishop would be coming here. But it's still got safe spaces going backwards and backwards. It's just it's not developing its pieces. We haven't got many of our pieces developed, but we've been able to attack a higher piece. So we'll claim victory on that one. 